Welcome to the FireX Text channel. My name is Henry, and today this should be a short video. And what it's going to be about is two things. The first thing, if you have your PlayStation ROMs in ISO or Q and BIN files, how to convert them to CHD files. And then from there, we're going to be creating M3U files that point to those CHD files. Now, the reason why we would want to do this, one is that the CHD format is a lot more compressed than ISOs and bins. This allows us to have more space, whether you're putting these on a retro handheld or just having them on your computer, it will save a lot of space for you. Creating the M3U files that point to the CHD files makes it so that you don't have multiple entries for multi-disc games on your emulator. It also allows you to have a very simple way of changing disks. Now, I will have a download in the description that'll link to the three files here. Two of them I have created, the two batch files, and then the CHD man is a file that comes from MAME, that is the executable that is actually going to be compressing and converting these files. Now, if you want to get it directly from MAME, you can go ahead and do that. There's many other places you can download this software. I do want to make it available, but I also understand if you want to get it somewhere more reputable. With these batch files, I will open them up and show you how they work, and that way you can write them yourself if you don't want to download them from me. But let's go ahead and get started here. Once you have downloaded the file, we can go ahead and unzip it here. We can then go ahead and delete the zip folder here. You will want to make sure that your ROMs are in individual folders. So as you see here, I have Azure Dreams showing bin and Q file. And I also have Final Fantasy VII showing three disks. I'm going to start as if you don't have CHD files. If you already have CHD files, you can go ahead and skip to the next part. Now, the first thing we will do, we will run the Q or ISO to CHD. I will do that now. And as you can see, it will start to compress and convert these. While it's doing that, let me go ahead and explain what I wrote in here. Now, what this says to do is to go into each folder and to pick anything that is .q or ISO. And for the .q, this is also including the .bins. It will pick that up. And to then use the CHD man and to create a new file in the same folder that we're pulling it from. The second line here will actually go through and delete all of the Q, ISO, and bin folders once it's done. So now that it's complete, we can go check. In case you don't want to delete the ISOs or bins, um, you can just remove this line and save it before you run it. But now we will go back through and check, and now we have the CHDs. Now the next thing we will run is the M3U creator. We can run that here. This one's a lot faster as it is already done. And what that has done, it has created these two M3U files that if we open up to inspect them, we will see that they just point to the folder and then to the file for the, each of the CHDs. So now when you're in your emulator, you will point to this folder for your ROMs for the PlayStation. But I will show you exactly what that did and what happens here. 
I'll skip some of this stuff, but we'll go to the, what the most important part is. This first part is going through and deleting any previous M3U files. Um, and that way, if you add new games, you can run this. And when it's done, you won't have any duplicates. Um, before I had this, it was creating multiple cases of this. So no duplicates. You can run it over and over again, and you can even check these files. And there's only one entry. The next thing here is that this is the actual creation of the M3U files. It basically goes through each folder and then creates a new M3U file pointing to each of the CHD files. And then once it's done, it waits for you to hit a key and it exits. Um, again, I will have links in the description for where you can download these files. I'll also put them either in a GitHub or a text file that you can just edit or write the batch files yourself to do this. So now that is done, we can go ahead and remove these files. You can just put these in a tools folder, something along that line to keep them handy, or you can just leave them in your ROMs folder. They will not interfere with the emulator. But let me go ahead and show you how this works. I will start a game that I have been playing and I am on the second disc, so I can show you exactly how that works. Now I do have a filter on here, so if you're not watching this full screen at the same resolution I've recorded it at, um, you may see some very ugly scan lines. However, if you have a 1440p screen and maximize it, it should look very nice. And what I will do is I will just kind of fast forward this. And if we try to start a new game, it'll say, please insert disk one. What we do is just hit the hotkey to open up the RetroArch menu, go to disk control, eject disk, and then Use the current disk index, go to the disk that you need. So this would be one. Then select insert disk. And then it'll load. And that is why I really enjoy the .m3u with the CHDs. If you have any issues with this, or if you have any questions, please go to the comments and ask this was helpful. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.